people down in the dungeon today. You know, I ain't did a dungeon uh, chat in a while. And, um, why is my camera adjusting? Anyway, took the cousins, my CZ cousins, out to uh, the range today. And me being a trigger snob, I found something different. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Let's, let me go over these guns first, and I'll tell you what happened at the range. I think I've learned something today. Dan Wesson. 9mm. Um, what can I say? 11 pound guy ride spring. Uh, it's pretty much readjust the. Um, Springs, trigger springs in the back. That's pretty much it. Running, you ain't seen the video. Running around two and a half, two and a quarter pound trigger. Short. If I get my finger out of the way. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing thing. And I've been stuck on porting. I'd be wasting money on this. This thing doesn't even move. That'd be a waste of money. Ah, uh, that'd be for decoration only on this thing. Trust me. All right, man. I just let me get my thing poured. I want to send everything out to port. Um, again, shout out to Slideworks Engineering. They've been doing a lot of guns for me lately. I'm trying to keep them busy, but it ain't getting this one. If I send this out, it'd be for um, design only, aesthetics. Beautiful gun. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Got the stream light on there. Holiston 507 green. That's my baby there, my greens. And factory uh, Magwell grip. Um, um, Loki uh, grips. That's pretty, pretty much it. Oh, I forgot where I got this trigger from. But I got rid of, if you know the gun, got the red. Uh, grips, red base plate, red trigger, and I actually bought it because I like the red. And then I blame Bobby Dynamite because he said he wants everything black. Some confidence biting his style. So I said, Yeah, because I did all the color things. Let me go back to black because I used to be strictly, I used to be just like, I want all black guns, black guns, black guns. I still don't like tan guns. I still want. I probably get one just for a collection, but I don't like tan guns. Other than green, I like gray. Other than gray, I like uh, Glock's Battlefield Green. Okay, back back to my story. Um, good shooter. It's still tough between this. Mechanics run too. I gotta run these with more mechanics. Right now, again, I took the two cousins out. Show the other cousin. That uh, CZ Tactical Sport. This was the blue one. I went the orange one with the big ass. What's it called? My set. Nah, let me be a little more spiffy with my money. Uh, it's not the word I'm looking for, what I'm looking for. Anyway, can't think of the word I need to use, but y'all got it. I said, let me get something. I really don't need to pay that extra thousand um, dollars. Let me get something. This I should, Let me go start here first, because I never had a CZ um, shadow. So let me try the shadows first before I go ahead and get the big doll. So let me go with the, the good one and see if I like it. And I like it. Now this factory, one pound, one and a quarter. And I forget it. <laughs> I forget. It got me today. I forget how light this trigger is. And I'm not kind of guy to stage my trigger, but I put a little pressure on it. That little pressure, that's poof. So, oh. Yeah, I forgot about that little light trigger. I mean, it just, it's nothing to this one. It's 
not as sharp. I mean, it's not short as that one, but you you really can't tell in the um, on the range. Well, I take that back. You can. Okay. Here's my story. The reason why I had this video. Again, I took this to the range today. This does not like. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The accuracy shots. This wants to run. If you treat this like a minivan, it's going to dump on you. You treat this like a Ferrari, Porsche, 911 Turbo S, it's going to run. You treat this like the family car, just trying to get to point A to point B. Point B? <laughs> point B? Yeah, yeah, it's going to um, do something that I real I thought it was me, but I realized it's the gun. Decided, you know, push it out 25 yards, see how tight my groups are. Kept getting a dead trigger. I said, man, what the hell? That's supposed to be the best triggers in the world. I said, oh, what the? Gotta be me. I must not let go because, again, shooting the Dan Wesson, I try to go right to reset and go back to reset. This is this. You could feel the reset, but it's not like a Walter or a Glock, which you actually, it's power, you can feel that vibration. You really can't feel the vibration in the CZ. It's a little better than my, um, my echelon, which I can't even feel when that thing resets at all. I have to put the you know stethoscope on it to hear the reset, but that's another story in itself, and that's my fault. But um, that trigger I put on there, but I learned how to shoot it. Again, I can't feel the reset, so I said maybe I'm not going always to reset. So I go dead trigger, I let it out a little more, and then it shoots me. Like, the hell's going on? You have to let go of this trigger. Load this bad boy up 20 rounds and fire as fast as I could. I had a freeze finger around 12 rounds, but I got I did pretty good. And they were coming. And they was and I got that rhythm going, man. I'm last guess eight rounds. I mean I had that rhythm go rhythm going around that last eight rounds. It did. I said, oh, okay. Now I realized what I have to do to shoot this thing is actually almost come off this trigger. And I don't think it's something you should do, but it's, I still can, I'm actually faster coming off the trigger than going to reset and bringing it back. I'm actually almost a slap off the trigger. I come off the trigger, instead of trying to go to reset, if I come off this trigger and slap this trigger back, I'm a lot faster. I tried it again. So let me try to hit the reset. Dead trigger. Now notice I did this a couple times too. Man, I still got the twitch 90 years shooting. I still, but my, <laughs> i tell you what I do though. I uh, let's give the subject a little bit. I go ahead and use a bore sight to get this accurate, and then when it's off a little bit, I adjust the way I'm shooting. Should never do that, but so competition, I'm gonna have to practice where the bore sight is. Now, if I'm regular shooting or self defense, I sh I. I um, put my red dot how I'm shooting. So I'm going to get a little twitch. That's where the red dot's going to be. Good or bad, I don't think you should. You should be able to hold that weapon and train yourself to hold the weapon like the old school. Put the dime on it. But again, it's hard to do that with this gun. You have to go with this gun. If you do that, making sure I don't flinch gun, you'll get a dead trigger. Maybe if I come way off of it and then come back, 
if you don't shoot this, and it might be me, it might need a return spring, but right now I'm, I ain't touching it. And again, it might be my ignorance of, of shadows. It's my first shadow. So it might be my ignorance. I'm gonna take it for what it is, but right now, if I come off that trigger, I'm dropping. I mean, that 20 rounds is coming out. I put my, I put that, that switch on it. That's coming out. But if I try to go off the reset, I'm good. Did I get that dead trigger? So I'm gonna take it. It's the gun doesn't like to be shot slow. Because if you don't pop that trigger out, it finds a dead spot. The hammer's back. But that trigger is just, it's just like, what's going on? Then I have to kind of get off of it again. So I don't know what it is. I just... It's got to be not me, not letting it go all the way back to reset. Let's see if I can do that. Nah, it's, it's hard to do it with no rounds in it. I don't know. But again, if I do it like this, let me see. I don't know how to do it with that. I guess I can. Well, let me go this way. Nobody in front of me. It's in the basement. It's going to hit the dirt. Safety guys. If I hit it like this, but if I try to do the accuracy, oh, yes, I'm not holding the gun right. I'm just trying to show you the trick. Relax. Now I can hear it's quiet in here, but somehow if I do the the accuracy sh accuracy shot. I might be I might be short shifting or something. I don't know. Seems to be working fine now. But at the range, it did it to me three times. But again, if I do the it's da -da 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 -da. for this for my dad Wesley, the trigger is so short that I um I mean. Soon you move your finger, you're all, it's reset. You know what I mean? Soon you move your finger, it's on reset. Let me do it right. See, soon you move your finger. So that's the difference there. So I guess I'm. I don't know. I'm cool where I'm at. Again, I'm cool the way I shoot it now. Um, I might be wrong, but I got it functional. So, I mean, you guys got to see these shadows. Excuse me, educate me. Right now, I like the way I got it, but oh, I never talked about it. I think I'm, um, I forgot, what, oh, I forgot what spring I got in here. I went down to 8 pound. That's crazy. 8 pound CZ as opposed to regular springs. is different springs. This is not no 8 pound. This feels factory. Cause it's kind of tough. Because I always worry about it. Because that's light as a feather. I mean, it's like I can do this. This just feels like a factory gun. Kind of stiff. But this is another thing. I don't need port. If I get this ported for decoration, aesthetics, this doesn't move at all. So I did, um, got the, um, and this is a blue one. I said that already, right? This is the blue. Um, CZ, Tactical Sport. Factory, Magwell, um, lock grips. Almost the same. I get them a little swell. Swole, if that's the word I'm looking for. Just look at the palm swell in them. And that's it. Turnals are factory. Triggers are factory. I ain't wild when I touch that trigger. Unless I need to do something. 
for that dead spot and I'm doing something wrong I'm shooting but again I'm good with that so I sent this out um oh man don't kill me I forgot you guys names oh brothers I y'all do um is it South Bridge I don't know if I'm thinking about the name of the town near me or South Bridge is Bridge something. South Bridge Works or something. I know it's SB is their logo. And um they uh they did my Dan West as I sent this to them and they got it back. Um probably three weeks I guess. Wasn't too bad. Two weeks and a half. Wasn't that bad. Um uh, quick response. And I don't want to shit on them, because again, they do a good job, but I don't know if y'all can see this. It did that to me, but they have errors, and I'm that kind of person that need to be flawless. My guns don't need to be flawless. You can see a little speck on there where it's been sitting in this moisture. So I ain't got rust surface sitting in, this, in the dungeon. So, those my internals are good. I keep them lube. I keep this slicked up now because, uh, and of course I got my little, uh, trying to combat all the moisture down here. Uh, I gotta move this safe, but there's no room. You know, it's no room. But I, I'll figure it out. But it did that little little thing to me but um I ain't mad at him I didn't complain he did a good job on um my damn was oh knock off of this damn western y'all still <laughs> watching this video that came off on me at the range and that's a push on there's no set screw I don't use it, so I just took it off. I can actually push that back on there, so I don't know how it shrunk or gun changed or there's no set screw on it, so I don't know what happened there. Like I said, I don't use it, and on my uh, I just got the plug. I'm not going to use that either. And this one stays greasy. So I want that. Alright, I'm just rambling now. Y'all probably bored with my conversation. That's all I got. And if anybody out there can tell me where I can get some tactical sports base plates or not plastic on ones. Uh, what would I do with it? If I can get some tactical sport base plates and not plastic and not orange, let me know. I looked all over the place. And uh and no the um Dan Wessons or the Shadow Twos don't fit on here. This these Magwells Magwells. Base plates are thicker, the bags are thicker, the base plates are thicker than Shadow Twos. Tactical sports are um, a little thicker. In case y'all didn't know. Guess how they get 20 rounds in this little one where most of them get 18. Alright, so I got. Thanks for stopping by.